Good morning. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. This is a beautiful day that the Lord has made. And I have a verse from the Y. And we got two. James gets one and I get one. And both of them was really good. Here, I got to get this. And this one says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? That's Psalms 27.1. Well, I tell you who we should look out for. And that's the old Satan, all the old devil. Because he's out to get us. It says in John 10.10, 10, Satan comes to steal and kill. But Jesus came to give us life and more abundantly. I've got that one memorized. And this one said... Since this is Mother's Day, what does it say? God is our refuge. He's my refuge, that's for sure. And strength, an ever-present help in trouble. And we all going to have trouble. That's just life. Honey, it's out there. You just have to make the best of it with the help of the Lord. And that's what I do. But don't you like my Mother's Day hat that my friend got me? She brought this by the house last night. Thank you, darling. You're a darling girl. She's 78, but to me, she's a girl. I have twins that are 70 years old, May the 8th, and here's Bella. She wants to help me wish a Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day to all y'all. Now, where's my coffee? <laughs> I had such a great day yesterday. It was, we went to an estate sale, and I tell you, they just had so much stuff. And James got me another hat. And I haven't had a chance to wear it yet because this is my Mother's Day hat that Darlene gave me. And I look at this. Is that gorgeous? And pink is my one of my favorite colors. I have favorite colors everywhere. But this, and then I got a little flower to match. See that? Pink. Grandma's like to dress up for Mother's Day. James taking me out for dinner later when he gets home from his church which he sits for two hours I can't make it darn but that's life so I stream it and I can drink my coffee and hold the cat and talk to you wonderful children I cannot believe what y'all are doing Darlene dropped off that this hat yesterday about four o'clock and by this morning, it it rolled over to 66,000 while she was there. And this morning, 251 more people. Last time I looked at it, and I do look at it quite often, had already subbed. Oh, that takes your breath away. And I need all the breath I can get. I'm 90 years old. I got to run to the Walmart after I stream or before. One or the other. I'll get her done. And James said this morning, I was going to sell my other car, the Lincoln. He said, honey, keep it. What happens if yours quits running? Well, he's got vans, but I don't like to drive his vans. So he says, keep it. Well, he pays the insurance on it. If he said keep it, Grandma is keeping it. When I met him, when we first started dating, even back then I had two cars for a long time, I have had two cars. I'm a spoiled woman, but the Lord is so good to me, and I am so thankful for his goodness and his mercy, and that I sleep good at night, and that I had a good breakfast this morning. We are blessed people. Let's be sure and look. You know, my daddy used to say, if we would forget to pray before we ate, which I try not to forget, he says, we're not like hogs under the acorn, tr acorn tree who's eaten all the acorns and never look up to see where their bounty comes from. Well, we know where our bounty comes from, and that's the Lord. So we thank him, and I'm just enjoying life. Y'all enjoy this Sunday, and happy, happy Mother's Day to all you other lovely mothers and grandmothers out there. And you know you don't have to give birth to be a mother. You can be a mother to a lot of people. We adopted a son, and 
I was mother to him, and he had, and you know I let him know his real mom because she wasn't able to take care of him. So I let him know his real family, his blood family, as well as us. So he's got two families. And then when he married that sweet girl he married, Sherry, then he's got another family because her family was there. And so you're blessed if you have families that love each other. So I'm going to let you go this Mother's Day and stream my church and do what Grandma's got to do. My hat's off to you. I love you. God bless you. It's just fun, isn't it, talking to all y'all. I just see you out there, and I pray for you. I say, Lord, bless those children. Keep them safe. And being as I'm 90, I'm the mother of all of you. Grandma to y'all, too. Love you. Walk that path now where y'all will meet me in heaven and the one that Jesus will be pleased with you. That's my message. Bye-bye.